In this lecture, we are going to work on creating an API for profile picture upload. And we are going to upload the profile pic image to Cloudinary. Now, what is Cloudinary? Cloudinary is a cloud-based image and video management platform that provides a comprehensive set of tools for storing, optimizing, and delivering media content. Now, image data can be quite large and storing and retrieving image data from MongoDB and then displaying it in the UI can affect the performance of our application. So, we will not upload the image directly to our MongoDB database. Instead, we will upload the image to Cloudinary, which will then give us a URL of that image and we will store that URL in our MongoDB database. Okay, so if we go to our Express application, there, if I go to this models folder and to this user.js model, there you will see that we also have this profile pic property for the user. And for this profile pic, we want to store an image. We want to store the profile pic of the user. So here to this profile pic, the image which we are going to upload to Cloudinary, it is going to give us a URL of that image. That URL we are going to assign to this profile pic property. All right. Now, in order to work with Cloudinary, we need to have an account with Cloudinary. So let's go to the browser and there you need to go to cloudinary.com. Once you are in this page, if you don't have an account already with Cloudinary, you can create it by simply clicking on this sign up for free or by clicking on this get started button. And there you will get an option to sign up using your Google account, Apple account, Microsoft account, or by providing your email ID and password. Since I already have an account, I'm not going to create an account again. What I will do is I will simply go ahead and log in here. So I have created my account using my Google account. So I'm going to use my Google account to log into Cloudinary. And now we are in the dashboard page of Cloudinary, basically in this get started page. From here, we can go to dashboard. Okay, and here you can see what files you have uploaded, what are the credits used in last 30 days and all those informations, but we are not interested here. What we need to do is we need to go to media library. And you will also see some images which you can use from Cloudinary. So these images are not uploaded by me. These are already there in the Cloudinary. So you can use these images as well. But what I want to do here is here, I want to create a new folder. So let's go to this folders tab. There you can create a new folder by clicking on this button. Here I'm going to create a folder called quick chat. And we are going to use this folder for storing all the profile pics, which the user has uploaded. Let me create this folder. So that folder has been created. Now, in order to work with Cloudinary in our Node.js application, first of all, we need to install Cloudinary for our Node.js application. So for that, let's go to our terminal. And here you can see currently I am in the server folder. So in the server folder, we have our Node.js application. And there I want to install a new package called Cloudinary. So for that, you can type npm install command and we want to install Cloudinary. Let's press enter and it should install Cloudinary for our Node.js application. So it has been installed. Let's go to our Node.js application. There, let me go to package.json file and you can see Cloudinary has been installed here. Okay, the next thing which we need to do is we need to create a configuration file for this Cloudinary. So for creating the configuration file in the server folder, I want to create a new file and I'm simply going to call it as cloudinary.js. Okay. Now in here, we are going to require the Cloudinary package. So let's create a variable. Let's call it Cloudinary. And to require the Cloudinary package, we are going to use the require function. And there, we are going to specify the package name as Cloudinary. Let's save the changes here. Next. Here, we need to specify some configuration. So for that, let's again go back to Cloudinary. And let me open Cloudinary page again. Here, 
here let's go to documentation and here we want to see the documentation of using cloudinary from node.js application so i'll select node.js here and if i scroll down yeah this line here you can see this is what we are going to use to set up the cloudinary so let me copy this let's go to our cloudinary.js file and let me paste it here and this cloudinary this name should be same as this name so i'll copy it and i'll rename this variable to that just to avoid any spelling mistakes okay now what we need is we need the cloud name we need the api key and we need the api secret so let's go to our cloudinary dashboard there we need to go to settings and there we need to go to api keys so first of all you will see the cloud name here you can copy this cloud name let's go to our express application and there let's replace this value with the cloud name then let's go back again and here is the api key you can simply copy it and you can paste it here and then we also need the secret key so for that again let's go back to cloudinary and here we have the secret key but currently we cannot view it we need to provide a confirmation code which will come to your email with which you have logged in so i'm going to specify that confirmation key here and let's click on this approve button and this will allow us to see that secret key let me copy this secret key from here let's go to our application and let's paste it here let's save the changes and also let's go back to cloudinary and let me rename this to maybe quick chat all right so the configuration we have defined here let's go ahead and let's export this cloudinary from this file so for that we will say module.exports and we want to export cloudinary let's save the changes let me close this package.json file and now let's go to our users controller and there i'm going to create a new api so for that we will say router dot and here we are going to handle a post request okay and let's specify an endpoint for this so let's call it upload profile pic then we also want to execute this auth middleware before we execute the route handler function after that let's specify the route handler function here it should be running asynchronously in there let's specify a try catch block from the catch block let's send a response in the response we want to have a message property and here we want to send error message and then let's set the success to false so this is what we want to send when there is some error that has occurred now with this post request in the request body we are going to receive the image the image data so let's create a variable let's call it image and we are going to get this image from request body so for that let's say request dot body dot image and this request object we are going to receive it as a parameter to this function so here we are going to receive request and response now there are two things which we need to do here first of all we need to upload the image which we are receiving in the request body to cloudinary and the second thing which we need to do is we need to update the user model and set the profile pic property okay first we are going to upload the image to cloudinary from there we are going to get the image url that image url we are going to assign to the profile pic property of the user model so let's write the logic for that for uploading the image first of all let's use this await keyword and on the cloudinary and to use this cloudinary we also need to require it from cloudinary.js so let's go ahead and let's write that statement and we want to require cloudinary from from the current folder we need to move one folder up and in there we have cloudinary.js let's save the changes here 
and we are going to use this cloudinary and on that we are going to call a function called uploader dot upload and here first of all we need to specify the file which we want to upload here we want to upload the image which we are receiving in the request body and then let's also specify some configurations here so for example i want to upload this image to a folder and what is the name of that folder it is quick chat this is the folder which we have created right so we want to upload that image to this folder and this is going to return us the image url so let me go ahead and let me create a variable let's call it image url and that image url you know we are going to assign it to this image url so this is the first step let's save the changes here in the second step once we have the image url we are going to update the user document and there we are going to update the profile pic with that image url so for that let's again use await keyword and here we are going to use the user model because we want to update the user document and here we are going to use find by id and update method there first of all we are going to pass how do we want to find the user we want to find the user using user id and from where we are going to get the user id we are going to get the user id from request body because if you remember the auth middleware here this auth middleware it is going to add a user id on the request body so it should be request so request dot body dot user id then we also need to specify the data with which we want to update the document so here we want to update profile pic and what do we want to update it with we want to update it with image url and actually let's call it as uploaded image and from this uploaded image we are going to get the image url and for that we need to call the property secure underscore url all right and finally this find by id and update method is going to return us the document the document which we are updating so here we want to get the updated document so for that i'll set this new to true and this should be it so we have uploaded the image to cloudinary and we have got an image url that we are updating for this profile pic property finally let's go ahead and let's send a response from here so for that let's say response dot send and what do we want to send in the response first we want to send a message let's say profile pic updated successfully then let's set the success property to true and finally let's also send the data and in the data we want to send the updated user object so here let's go and let's create a variable let's call it user and to that we are going to assign that user object and that we want to send in the response so this is our api let's save the changes here okay now let's go ahead and let's test this api from postman so let me copy this endpoint here let's go to postman let's open a new tab here we want to make a post request and we want to make a post request to localhost colon 5000 slash api slash user slash upload profile pic okay so this is the endpoint name and with this request first of all let me go ahead and let me set the authentication token so i'll copy it from here let's go to authorization there let's select bearer token and here let's specify that authorization token okay i need to copy this authorization token let's paste it here and since it is a post request and with this post request we want to send the image in the request body let's go to body there since we want to send an image a file with the request body instead of sending a json data i'm going to use this form data here there let me specify a key and the key should be image because in the request body here we are expecting a image property so this should be the key and then here we want to select a file okay let's select a file here i'll select mary jane 
then we want to send it as the JSON data. So we want to tell server that we are sending a request with the request body in the form of JSON data. So from here, let's specify the content type. And what should be the content type? Here, let's specify application slash JSON. All right, everything looks good here. Let's send this request and let's see what we get. All right, it says missing required parameter called file. But if you see, we have specified that parameter. So if I hover over this upload function, Okay, it is not showing anything here, but this upload function, the first parameter of this upload function is the file. And for that, we are already passing this image. But for some reason, here we are getting this error, missing required parameters called file. Maybe what we will do is, instead of testing it from Postman, we will try to test it from our UI application itself. So in the next lecture, we are going to implement the functionality of uploading a profile pic from our UI to Cloudinary. So there we will test this functionality. There we will test this API. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.